Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, left fan, and right fan. Removal. Disconnect the right speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the webcam cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the SSD connector board ZIF connector and disconnect the SSD connector board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Lift the locking bar and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the left speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the thermal sensor board ZIF connector and disconnect the thermal sensor board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the three 3mm P0 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the front edge of the system board off of the alignment pins and remove the rear edge from under the lip on the top cover. Turn the system board over and set it down on a flat surface. Remove the 1.6mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless module bracket to the system board and remove the wireless module bracket. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a new system board, remove the heatsink from the old system board and install on the new system board. Important, after system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI, and other settings.